Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. Today I'm just gonna do a quick oil change on both of my mowers to get them ready for hopefully next week. Uh, today, or this morning, I went to the shop and bought some more air filters and oil filters. So I need two of these. Um, and I also gotta change the uh, one hydro fan. I'll change that as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start the mowers up quickly just to get them warmed up so it's easier to drain the oil and then I will change them and show you what I do. Actually, I might change uh, this before I do the oil because I don't want it to, uh, it's easier just to do this first, so I'll do this first. I think it was this more that needed to be fixed. see it's broken here this one breaks all the time so gotta make sure we keep that one all fixed up Alrighty guys, so in the middle of me trying to get the mower done, it started raining, so I had to stop doing work on it. So I'm just gonna do the oil change now. Um, and stick around for the end of the video. I got some more mail today, so I'll put another sticker up on the shed door. So I'm just gonna back the mower up on flat ground and show you how I change the uh, uh, oil filters on the walker mowers. Alrighty guys, so what I have is a little bin here that I've cut a center hole out into it um, because on the walkers, the uh, oil pan is really low to the ground. It's really hard to get anything underneath there. So what I've done is a plastic bin so you can push it under nice and easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the top of the mower up so it's easier to get underneath and then I'll show you how I do the oil change on it. So I take the oil, this pan here, I stuff it under. I think I'm a little bit too, uh, how soon this wheel is turned to as well? There we go. Okay, so that's underneath there. Take your ratchet. Take the uh, oil pan, pan out. Alrighty, so I just let it drain out. Then once I finish letting it drain, I'll take the uh, oil filter off. Now these are hard to get out because they're so tight in there. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to clean it off a bit because it's full of oil on it. I like to wear these mitts when I do it so that I get some grip on it. Clean it off just a bit and then get some better grip on it. All right, so just make sure before you do your oil change, heat the mower up first so the oil is a bit looser so it can come out quicker. I'll just wait for that to come out. All right, so now that the oil is drained out, I'm gonna put the uh, plug back into it and I'll take the oil filter out so I don't get oil all over the place. This is a tricky part, I can never get these out. Oh. Okay, so a trick I do is get a screwdriver, puncture it, and use it the screwdriver. So I'm gonna go, uh, go get one. Here, 
my seat, just loosen this up just nicely. Drain the filter out here. And place a new one. I'm just hand tight. All right, the next step is to fill the oil back up. And it's starting to rain again, so I'll try and get this done quickly. So it takes one and three quarters of oil. So I just fill one of these up two or one time, empty it, and then I get the uh, fill it up another three quarters, and then finish filling it up. Ready. This is the second batch. All right, put this back in. We should be good to go. Hi guys, these are guys. Awesome. Fun. All right guys, I didn't get this more finished yesterday because it started to rain. So I'm just gonna finish it off now. Dad. So this one takes a three quarter inch uh, socket instead of uh, an Allen key. Daddy, you me take it out. Daddy, you me take it out. Take it out. Duh. Duh, guys. That name means be sometimes it's pain sometimes and it's fake and may not have any name that I mean not I lost the bolt in the oil always yeah. happens to me uh -huh. alright we'll have to fish that out in a minute so we're just going to let this drain and then we'll put the uh, plug back in and then put the oil filter in and fill her back mm -hmm. up with oil. Yeah. All right guys, so I've drained it. I'm putting the plug back in. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit trickier to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that ratchet, Christian. Thanks, bud. Go, guys. Sometimes that I, me and my daddy, out. So guys, I mean sometimes then I my mommy day and my daddy day. So guys, <laughs> I mean daddy, yeah, me do that. You do what? That. Oh, you want to ratchet it? Yeah. Oh. That I have okay. be bad. That's done. Me at oh. the yeah. What have you, oh no, you zoomed it out here, leave it like this. Hi. There you go. Okay, so next we're gonna do, take the oil filter off and put the new one on. Okay, mm -hmm. can you pass me the oil filter, Christian? Pass yeah. me the thing in the white bag? Pass me that one. The, no, sorry, the, the white box. Thanks, bud. So we got the oil filter here. All right, guys, so we're gonna put the, uh, the hopper up so we get to the uh, oil. So, because we got that powered up, looks so great, like that. 
power dump it up. So easy. Yeah. And we'll just, uh, on this side, put this side up as well. Just to make it a bit easier to get in there. Okay. The oil is right there, so fill that up with oil. So this takes one and three quarters of oil, so I do this because I buy the big thing of oil. It's hard to measure it out if you pour the whole canister in, so I just do one of these and another three quarters. All right guys, so that's the Wakamoros all done with the oil in them. Uh, we should be able to get going out next week. So let's head to the back now and open some mail. All right guys, so we got some more mail for the shed door. So this is all the way from Texas. I know who this is. I'm waiting for this one for a little bit. So let's open it up and find out who it's from. Nice, it's property of Texas Veteran Lawn Service. Thank you so much, Kevin. This is nice. Alright you guys, if you have not checked Kevin out yet on YouTube, go check him out. Texas Veteran Lawn Service, he's got an awesome channel. Um, I've caught a couple of his live uh, feeds on YouTube before, they're awesome. Alright guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to add this up onto the shed. Alrighty, there we go, Kevin, you're on your very own panel. Alright guys, so see you in the next video.